Okay, in our 2021 cab camper, we have is we had them put in an extra battery. They're 20, they're size 24s, so they have like 75 amp hours for 20 hours, according to the specification. Two 12 volt volt batteries connected in parallel to make 12 volts out to the system. Um, then inside. We got this little cubby under the seat that it appears they didn't try it in any way, way to organize it and make it nice and clean and space conscious. So I'll probably have to redo some of that. And then I got an Ames Power 2000 watt inverter. The model number is right there. If you can see that. Um, I'll probably mess up saying it, so I'll just let you read it. Um, it. Appears it's the same one that somebody else put on the forums that they installed. I got this one because the guys down at the place I got it said that this is the one that they've had the best success with with microwaves, since we have the microwave up there. Um, the other pure sine wave inverters don't seem to run microwaves very well. So I also got some wire to go to the batteries. Single zero wire, or single aught, however you want to call it. Some red and black and some other stuff and a big on off switch so I can turn off the power to it. Um, I have ordered a battery monitor and that's on its way. It's not here yet, but I don't need that quite yet. A bunch of little connectors as well. Probably needed more. So, let me do some work figuring out what I got down here and how I can rearrange it to fit this inverter down there. Because right now it hits everything. Okay, I thought about moving stuff around down there, but then realized that it fits right in the top here. So I made this little bracket, and it fits right down in there. And then the inverter can sit right on top of it, like that. But a little square, hopefully. So now I gotta maybe put some holes down there in the floor for the battery cables to come up through and figure out how to wire the rest of it and taking into account the ability to shut off the charge converter so that it doesn't charge the batteries while the inverter's using the batteries. To give you some dimensions on this, it is seven and a quarter inches from here to here and 18 inches from here to here and nine inches from here to the floor. So for the converter, it was this yellow cap in there was hooked to the outlets and they went together on the same um, circuit breaker. So I temporarily moved the outlets over to the circuit breaker with the Aldi hot water heater on it so that I could turn the converter off with the circuit breaker when I want to use the inverter until I get an automated system set up where I can tap the line that goes over to the converter and turn it off manually and then put the outlet back on the number one circuit breaker. So that's how I'm going to do it for now and I'll get back to you whenever I have something to automate the process. Okay, for the electrical wires I found that I could go like four inches over and four inches back and <clears throat> that was a pretty good spot for the holes. I drilled them from the underside so I knew where I was drilling so I didn't hit the gray water tank. I had to take the 
black plastic piece down. There are a bunch of sheet, self-tapping sheet metal screws going up through it into here and there. And I had to drop the front jack stands down and take off the glue on this pipe so that it would come off of the plastic and then I was able to get right up in there somewhere and drill the holes and now I'm going to run the electrical from the battery box through the frame rail here and then out the end of the frame rail out the end of the frame rail wherever it is up there and up those holes so I've got some corrugated plastic on it to help keep it from getting abraded okay I got the wires coming down from the battery box going into the frame rail I had to go farther forward with the black wire to the ground than I wanted to and then they come out up here so right there is where they come out and they go along up there and into the floor okay I got a cable to go from the circuit breaker I connected it to the incoming 30 amp circuit and to the ground and to the common bar so now I gotta connect this to the other end of the inverter and screw the bracket down and I got the ends put on the cable and heat shrinked and then put some glue down there around those so that they'll seal up a little bit now I got the hot common and ground connected and I'll go ahead and mount this down onto the thing and put the other cables on okay now I got the frame bolted down to the floor and the inverter connected to the frame so now I just got to put the positive and negative on. Too bad I don't. I forgot the lock picture. Doesn't seem like there's room for one though. hanging out that's not enough room for a lock washer too oh forgot to put the black cap on socket the red one had to go down and get in the goo
So now I have the little cord for the on off switch, but I have to get in a switch like that. I just put it right over here. So that it's easy to reach if we forget to turn it on before we put the bed in. And then I'll put the cover back on. Next step is to strip the cables up here. I gotta cover this one a little more. I ran out of stuff. But strip the cables up here and put in my on off switch for the thing in the positive cable. And then put on the terminals to go to the battery. So I'll the battery to that negative and this positive or opposite haven't decided yet probably the same way that the trailers hooked up just to make sure I don't run into any issues well I forgot to record the end of it so I got the negative coming up over here going to the negative battery on that one negative terminal and then I have the positive coming up here going to the switch and then going to the positive terminal on this battery over here so then I can come inside and with the switch off. I get voltage. Hmm. must have a big capacitor inside here or something that's holding the 12 volts because when I turn it on it goes down a lot faster so then if I come out here I have the 12 volts for the trailer 12 volt power on already so I turn that back on oops now I'm at 12.8 volts in here and then if I turn this on with the main power switch on the side here the little light comes on and then set this to AC and stick it in the little outlet here. I get 120 volts and the microwave is on and the Aldi or the air conditioner is on.
plugged into the outlet or shore power. But you probably don't want to stick your fingers on those because they're probably hot. So there you have it, a really bad video on installing an inverter in a cab camper so that you can have AC whenever it's, when you're in boondocking mode. Okay, so I got the bottom back up here. Let's see if I can point without, with the sheet metal screws and the trim piece and the plastic piece. And here's the metal trim on bolt. I only took it off on this side. And I got the little tube, vent tube coming down there. And then I put the bolts back on for the jack stands on both sides. I only loosened them on that on that side, on the passenger side. On this side I took them both off and dropped it down. So it's all buttoned back up underneath. 